Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Freya in episode 26. So we may have seen the end of Freya's clone. Uh, there was a cool plan in action where Fern had to sneak up on the replica, essentially, while Freya's replica was casting a spell because she stops detecting mana at that point. And then Fern used Zoltrak, which is a fast releasing spell, I guess. Yeah, they managed to pull it off with like the perfect timing, thank goodness. Yep. It was really nicely woven into um, the flashback with Seri and Freerun. I'd imagine in this episode we're going to wrap up this arc or this exam with the others defeating the other replicas, I guess. I'm hoping the hard part is out of the way now. Actually, now that I think about it, they may have to defeat Senze because we don't really know what happened to her. Yeah, they got to wrap up all those other replicas and, and deal with that and then defeat the demon. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. What the heck is going on? Uh, I thought she was defeated. Yeah, I thought she was too. Now that I think about it, that would be a little bit anticlimactic if Freyrin, this boss, was kind of defeated by just Zoltrak. True. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, now I'm stressed about Fern. Or are we just seeing more of the fight before? Oh no. I don't think so. And here we are, or oh, we're thinking that it was finished. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's go, Denkin, rallying the troops. Mm. Who's, De who's Denkin gonna take? Yeah, I don't know. I reckon Sensei wants to be in that room with Freya and so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yes, FOMO for sure. I like it that. Oh, I forgot his name. Richter, I think, and mm -hmm. uh, Lorena working together. Yeah. Oh, the soundtrack's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the matchups thing was a really good idea. What's he up to, the cheeky man? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, they won't see or detect ferns until she's right in front of them. Mm. No? Okay. There's something wrong. Something's off. No bad sense there. Yep. Definitely. Get out of there. Three years. Hurry up. Oh, no. Stop and go back. Be quiet. <laughs> you say be quiet, but I think everyone needs her help. Yeah, no, she's being loud. I'm saying oh. Sensei's going to hear her. <laughs> Huh? 
So... What? How does that work? Oh, cut her hair. Oh. So she's just going to go over there and give her a haircut. Yeah. Oh, she expected it. Does she mean that you Bell's gonna win? I don't think so. Oh. And then she damaged him. Oh! Oh! She disqualified! Uh, it's, what are you speaking in code? Just give me the answer. <laughs> it's all relevant, I'm sure. <laughs> Woman's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Something has been building up with that all that talk about her visualizing shit, yes. you know, for like how long now? Three or four episodes at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I'd love to cut it off one day. Yeah, wow. oh. I did not expect you, Bell, to be the one that kind of saves everyone here. Nah. Well, wow. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Yeah, interesting way to look at it. All dependent on the matchups. Mm -hmm. Someone really strong can still be defeated if they don't match up well against someone else. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear. Oh, okay. okay. That's a good Shit. way to test it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Thought shit was dealt with. Oh no. It's creating more. It's up to the two girls, uh, Freyrin and Fern, to mm -hmm. deal with Freyrin and get behind that door. Oh, there she is. Dude. The stick. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, she's going off in here. Oh, okay, well this would have been nice to share with the class last episode. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my gosh. You're going all out here for the animation in this episode. It really makes a lot of sense that Freyrin's biggest challenge in this season is herself. Yes, exactly. She, was, she wasn't really uh, breaking a sweat, was she, up until this point? No. Nah.
That's getting a bit close. <gasps> oh shit! She switched it up so quick just there. Yeah! Oh, Fern's bossing it. Look at her. Okay, she oh. needs no arms. Yeah. Oh, dang. I've never seen Freyron pissed before. Oh no, she's broken her staff and everything. She just looked at her. Oh, I just got chills. Yeah. This must be her finishing move. She's fully aware that she's there though. All done. Yeah, but what is Fern going to use now? Oh, shit. She used that against the... The Demon King. Wow. I think she's probably seen that you don't need the staff. Because that's what she just saw Freerun do. Perfect oh, timing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've actually been hoping that Fern would get an upgraded staff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For goodness sake. Should have guessed. <laughs> Wasting no time. <laughs> she probably feels like she's failed. Look how many people passed. I oh, know, she's wrapped. I think she wanted people to pass. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Well, take it back. Oh, I think it was one of the other dudes that got carried out. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure that guy at the end was the guy who wanted to go alone at the start. Right, yeah. Of this stage. Yeah. yeah. He was kind of arrogant about it. I mean, I kind of guess where he's coming from, but it turns out that he deserved to lose because everyone kind of worked together and that's how they ended up passing in the end, uh, which I kind of really liked about it. I think it was nice to see everyone eventually come together, figure out a couple of different ideas and plans and each person came and brought something to the table which i really liked yeah there is no way that they could have won single-handedly yeah that fight gave me chills a couple of times that was really good like when fern said said this is the height of magic like that's mm. as that's as good as it gets really freedom did something I, I don't know what she did but her replica that is um yeah freedom actual freedom obviously recognized that she's used it before um, she said 80 years ago, which is the Demon King yeah, era. era. So I wonder if when we finally get to the flashback that involves the Demon King, because everything surely is building up to that. That's what surely. we want to see. Right? We want to see exactly what went down there. I guess we'll probably have that spell or that last ditch spell explained to us or fleshed out yeah. exactly what it is. She kind of just looked at Fern and obliterated it was like her. her wrath. Like yeah. Because there was this look on her face. It was, like, not Freyron. No. She was, yeah, like, really pissed. Yeah, and Fern was completely startled by it. Mm. Whilst also kind of fangirling over it, which was yeah. cool. Um, but she got pretty messed up from that. Yeah, she did. That shows you how strong Fern actually is, too, though. She didn't die mm. or anything like that. And then Freyron came in with the final blow. Yeah, I'm hoping to get a cool new update of the star. Right, yeah. I'm not saying it's going to be stronger. I'm just saying, like, I'd love an updated design. I'm... I'm in the opposite camp, I think. You I like, like the original yeah, one? Yeah, I liked yeah. her original basic staff that we saw from the start. I hate that I... I hate that I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? You don't like her stick? No. Uh, I think it's cute. Because I see free runs and I'm like, oh, Fern could... No, but Fern's so a basic... She's a basic gal. That's what it is. Again, I, I hate it that I, <laughs> I don't like her staff, but it's just how I feel, unfortunately. 
I think the staff that she has or the stick completely characterizes the simplicity of Fern. That's why I really I guess like so, it. Yeah. But yeah, they they've all passed the this second exam now, the second stage, and uh, we've still got two episodes left. So I wonder what what they've got left in this arc. It's actually been quite enjoyable, very different to the first half. I feel like it was a really of the season that is. I feel like yeah. it was a really good way to break it up. It completely almost changed the the formula on us and we kind of went from visiting different places you know on their journey to kind of those one-off journey episodes that we started off with you know there were quite a few and yeah it was like almost a different place every episode and with that came a different flashback every episode too yeah well i mean the way it's been set up is you, you kind of had the first i don't know what five Six episodes setting up the main characters, and then you had the demon arc, and then you had some some pretty light-hearted episodes, I'd imagine, with a lot of flashbacks, uh, just a different place each episode. Sign mm. got involved, uh, and and then we've transitioned into the the first class major exams. Did you have a favorite arc so far? I felt like they were all pretty well paced. They all excelled at what they were trying to do. I think my favorite was was probably uh, the arc after the demon arc, which is quite odd because I felt like, if anything, that was the more filler arc. But I just really liked Sign, Stark, Fern, and Freeran. I felt like those episodes maybe had the most heart and they tied tied in with the flashbacks best. So I think that was some, some of my favourite episodes. But the exams have been pretty good too. Yeah, they have been really good. I don't know if we're going to do the last part of the exam in these last two episodes. Because this part was like four episodes, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, three, at least. Yeah. And I imagine part three would be the most challenging part, unless it's like kind of funny and they do something like it's just like a written exam or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm getting that impression because like no one has passed pretty much. And now mm. we've got a whole heap of people that have passed. So I, I guess Senze's level was meant to be the hardest. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from the last two episodes of the of the season. We know there are 28, so we have heard that there are more seasons to come. The manga's still going as well, so we don't know exactly how many we're getting. But I don't know how they're planning to wrap this up. I'd imagine just you kind of end the, the exam and then, and then you start season two how you kind of started this season, just them journeying through different places, continuing to go to end there or wherever Walking they're going. Walking off into the distance and then seeing... And scene. Yeah. Yeah, I can see something like that <laughs> happening. Bell was pretty surprising in this episode. Yeah. Was that? Her imagination kind of really showed the, or how limitless magic really is. And maybe you guys can clarify exactly what her, I don't know how far her magic can take her, but. Yeah. I was just about to say that. I'm like, if someone can please explain how that was possible. Yeah, I found it pretty hard to work out exactly what she was doing, but it was kind of building up yeah. that way. And yeah, she kept saying, like, as long as I can see it and visualize it. Yeah. I don't know. It was sort of like a, if you can dream it, you can do it moment, you know? Yeah, okay. But to what extent? Yeah. I'm sure people will go through it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!